All right, guys, update on the uh, 57 project. Got the cooling system installed. Um, factory radiator. Got the heating system all connected up. Heater hoses. Lower radiator hose, upper radiator hose. In case anyone's wondering, this is a uh, Gates 20699 part number hose. There's one here, and there's another one right here that's cut down with a connector in between them. I need to clean up these hose clamps, but it's okay. Got the uh, LS2 intake on the 6 liter here. LS2 throttle body polished up. Polished the valve covers. The coil brackets are painted the color of the car. Same with the intake. Uh, MSD plug wires, hooker headers. The headers need to come off and be ceramic coated still. Um, Power brakes, disc brakes. There's the uh, clutch master cylinder, or I mean the clutch fluid reservoir. The uh, master is actually in the firewall there. Can't see that. The uh, rack and pinion shaft is down there from the steering column. Power steering pump. Got the truck accessories modified for the LS2 intake. Has a LS1 water pump with water pump spacers to space it out for the uh, to get the right distance for the uh, for all the accessories to line up. Also, 145 amp alternator, electric fan on the back side of the radiator. As you can see, I've got the front sheet metal on here, but I don't have the uh, actual fenders or bumper or anything hood hood hinges. You can see the side of the car is just turning out beautiful. Wet sanded and buffed. Colors, uh, newer color that comes on Corvettes. It's called GM Spiral Gray Metallic. And it's also on Chevy trucks too. Got the Bel Air license plate. Take a look inside. Ciadella interior. Beautiful. Um, so there's a couple of wrinkles in it. Actually, I need to take that seat cover off and fix it. Super nice headliner too. Did all the uh, upholstery work with by myself, me and my friend actually. Now here's something interesting. I've got this uh, Hurst six-speed. Well, it's actually a T56 out of a Camaro, but I've got a uh, four-speed old bench seat shifter handle modified to fit it and got a six speed knob port. So actually since it's a Camaro transmission the shifter position comes up underneath the seat so the seat has like a knot I uh, notched it and uh, extended out this uh, bench seat shifter handle so that it would work for it. See, see it shifts fine. Um, electronic gas pedals set up in here uh, don't pay attention to all these wires right here. These are the uh, this some of this is for the cruise control hookup, but you know, clutch brake, gauge pods not in it yet. Uh, retro sound radio, pretty much everything's new. You know, new stainless on this dash. Got some fuzzy dice here. Um, my friend did that. <laughs> pretty funny. Anyway, new weather strip ring. New sill plates, just pretty much everything's new. All the stainless down the side of the car is new, except for all this original Bel Air trim that goes around the windows. Super hard to find, so and expensive. So it's all been polished back to its former glory. Also, the side glass is all new too, except I don't have it in the doors yet. Original rear window. Got some six by nines hidden under this package tray back here. And in the front, I've got two small speakers under that cover. So it's got like stereo sound, but original looks. You can't even tell there's any speakers anywhere. Yeah. Right now it's got open headers, so uh, let me do a open header startup video here. I've got the tripod set up over there, so it should actually idle now that I've got the cooling system hooked up um, the mass airflow sensor is turned off actually now and I've changed some idle tables so we should have idle 
We'll see though, I haven't actually run, run it yet. So it's just a guess. Also, I should add uh, that uh, I'm only 21 and I built this car entirely myself with some help. Um, I did all the paint work on it. Uh, well, my friend actually sprayed the paint, but I did all the body work. I replaced the quarter panels, replaced floor sections, um, rockers, inner rockers, all a whole bunch of floor braces. Um, the tail panel's been replaced. Uh, part of this tail fin's been replaced. A sec where it sections, just a replacement piece. Um, all the assembly, disassembly. Um, you can see my other videos on how I got this car and where it started out as. It used to have an old big block in it. The frame was bent. It was in pretty bad shape. Just about, you know, front floor pans were gone, floor braces were gone, rockers were gone. It actually had been side swiped on the left quarter or the passenger quarter. Replaced that quarter panel. Um, I mean, just there was all kinds of stuff wrong. The seat was broken. The tracks were totally worn out on it. Uh, gosh, I don't even know. There's been so much work. Uh, yeah, it's just crazy. Tons of modifying and customizing to put this motor in here. Um, for the exception of that I got, still retained the original firewall. I didn't want to cut that up. The same with the transmission tunnel is all original too. Uh, but I had to smooth over the flange that goes to the original transmission tunnel to fit that T56 in there, which well, that wasn't any big deal. And uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, you can see my other videos for the uh, first startup video here. I'll get that up in a bit.